previously on Sonic Unleashed. Ah! Let me see if I can do the Werehawk scream. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, I just fucking screamed. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Didn't work. <sighs> oh fuck! Uh, I think you'll have to like. Uh, I think you'll have to like time the jump or something, and yeah, that's how you'll do it. Okay, the funny thing about this stage here is that I could not be able to bypass through this stage if I remember correctly. I think I bypassed this section, but this was a pain to do because of how many enemies you have. You have to like defeat them all in order to survive this part. I mean, this is ridiculous. Well, maybe it was because Xenia wasn't really working on that time. Which, it might have been my guess, I forgot. It's been a way long ago, I you know, remember this stage. And I still think it's very annoying, sort of. Like, yeah, like that happened. See? There must be like an unleashed gauge. That's the only way for me to, you know, to make this game fair. Get an unleashed gauge so I can play this shit right. But without it, what am I supposed to? How am I supposed to beat this stage if there's gonna be so much fire in this area? <laughs> Come on! Is there a better way to do it? Like, every time, whenever I'm gonna get hit, that can happen. Like that. Let's fight. There you go. Okay. There we go. Took him down. Now he can't even do shit. Yeah, that is probably the goal to this one. You gotta do it that way in order to get the W. Like that. It's 
retro supporters if you look in them eyes. Yep. That, all those enemies, those are retro supporters right there. Yeah, I wonder what he, he actually were in ha Halloween. Yes, I'm recording this right in Halloween directly. So, yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> I'm probably, sh like, who knows what he's gonna wear. I'm gonna have to check out his chill streams, because I know he's... I know Retro planned to do Resident Evil Revelations 2, which, yeah, I heard he was gonna live stream as a Halloween, which, yeah, so no chill stream. Halloween stream. Okay. Game stream. I'm sure he'll probably suck at that horror game. As we all know, Retro sucks game's ass. <laughs> and horror game is, is another genre that, uh, you know, Retro hates. I mean, I mean, he can't beat sort of like that. I, I don't say he hates it, he worships it, yeah. No matter what. So he's probably going to do a game stream, so yeah. Let's see how many times he fails to. I don't think he'll finish the whole game up, which that's for sure, as we expected. I think, yeah, and yeah, I still see him, like, beat Pokemon Omega Ruby. I think that's what the game was. So the freaking 3DS once again. He's only good at Pokemon, JRPGs like. Huh, shouldn't surprise me. So now that he's beat that game, what's next he's gonna beat? Um, Pokemon from DS era, or the Game Boy Advance era, or Game Boy Color, or Game Boy? It could be any of those eras. Uh oh, I did not mean to do that. I did it too early, I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, luckily this is a checkpoint, so yeah, I don't have to mess it up. But yeah, there's ain't no S rank run, so yeah. I think that's what Retro's good at, Pokemon. He also probably jerks on with the uh, jerks with the Poke Girls. If it's Serena, Serena is a really terrible character. Yeah, that's why uh, the X Y era of anime just got like flopped in the in the ass. X and Y did really flop in the ass. I mean, well, Sun and Moon was like. Mm, okay, but it was boring. It didn't really have anything fun to do it. I liked Lana. That's the only thing I like. Um, let's see. What well, what well, I can say about it? Honestly, they should have just ended at Sun and Moon era. They should have just done it. End it like there. I just said it. But they still keep on making them games, which I have no clue why. And it should have just been dead right now. Huh. Don't know what I can really tell you from that anyway, because what do I have to say? But yeah, I bet Retro's gonna be going back to the DS era and didn't, you know, complete them other games from there. Who knows if he'll do a DS stream, but I have a feeling he'll do the Game Boy Advance because he's well known to play those type of games. The Game Boy Advance, because he keeps talking about that game. He talks about this game way more than the DS. So, with that said, he's pro I bet Retro's gonna play more Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance, or the Game Boy, or Color, who knows. And he'll probably slap those games in the ass. And I don't give two shits, because Retro's probably only good at turn-based JRPGs. I bet Retro hypes up the RE4 remake, that's my guess. I I'm sure he hypes up that shit. That's my guess, but I think he'll probably say no because of the whole bullshit that's going on with RE4. That's for sure. So if that, I don't think Retro will probably hype that up, so yeah. <laughs> I don't think he will, so with that, he needs to know. Yeah, look at him Retro, he's getting beaten up every single time. His parents don't love him, that's why. I don't think the game franchise characters will ever love him. <laughs> yeah, I just said I don't think his, the game characters in this franchise in the franchises will ever love Retro. <laughs> that would be funny if that was an actual thing. <laughs> because of how much sins Retro's committed while dying in the same games over and over again. Button mashing or having piss poor reactions, etc. <laughs> etc. Et Look at that, that's Retro trying to guard, yeah. He's trying to do them defending shit, yeah, look at that. Take that, Retro. Stop defending, boy. <laughs> Fatty never learns, does he? He never learns how to lose weight. 
in his entire life. He never ever learns when to stop being an idiot. I mean, he's a basically a fake backspitter, that low alone. <laughs> like, what does he know? I don't even think he knows anything, let's be real. <laughs> If he talks about anime of the year, yeah, I'll think about that. I'm probably sure he will probably say, what would he probably say? He might probably say My Hero Academia is like the anime of the year. <laughs> That's for sure. Or Spy X Family or Chainsaw Man. I'm probably sure he'll probably say those are the anime of the year. When I think Bastard or that Sprygon one, which I'll plan on watching it very soon. Yeah. It's very short, so I can easily slap that one in the ass. So yeah. So with that, yeah, Retro, yeah, he probably, uh, he probably would say that, anyway, instead of those two, which are pretty damn underrated and pretty good. Oh yeah, and since my brother's birthday is already up, uh, it should be recorded after it, but, eh, it's around, like, November 1st, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, since that's the thing here, um, oh. You're gonna have to find the. I think it's like in the in the front. I think. Yeah. You need to go front. Front. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm gonna be watching American Dragon Jake Long. Yeah, that's right. It's basically another one of those Disney Channel shows that was like way back in the 20s. I mean, 2000. Yeah. So that's not the one. Oh, maybe. I, yeah. I think you have to redo the whole thing. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Damn, you have to do the whole thing again? Well, thanks for letting me know. Um, it's about mostly just Chinese stuff, uh, and American Dragon. It's kind of like the Danny Phantom of this show, basically. So, with that, I'd be totally be looking forward to give this one a shot. So, yeah. Definitely. Um, I think the platform just showed up. I think. Hmm. Uh... Did it show up or no? If it didn't, oh yeah, there's the one right there. Oh, okay. Um, we only got two medals left. Where's the last few? Okay, one is right there. And where's the other one? And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I forgot how long it is, but I think I'm gonna binge watch through that whole thing. But it'll probably take a while for me to finish all of the stuff up. Because I want to play mostly the games. <laughs> yeah. As for TV shows, nah, who knows. If I can get the time to. <laughs> that is. That would leave Kim Possible left for my 20s watch list of Disney Channel. The only one that will be, that is. Oh, there's the last one. You're going to have to use the barrels. Uh, that is, basically. Oh, it's a CD. Never mind. Oh, shit. There it is. Right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think you're gonna have to use that recovery thing. Yeah, I don't know about the 2020s. Uh, oops, not that. I mean the newer ones. I'm not the fan of the newer eras. It's really just, I don't know. Okay then, that settles that off. So with that, we can now continue on. Alright, look at all these guys. Look at, that's Retro and his supporters wearing the Halloween costumes. They're probably wearing Mario costumes, the Rabbits, or, uh, what's another one? Naruto, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, what's another one? Oh yeah, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon, and mostly the Poke Girls. I bet they'll wear those. Uh, holy shit, there's a lot. Maybe Spider-Man suits? <laughs> There's even Mega Man and the Ninja Turtles, you forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he'll wear those ones too, yeah. But I think Retro will probably wear the Ninja Turtles suit <laughs> and go Halloween just to get trick or treat. Oh, he'll probably get the loser candy, my guess. <laughs> he'll get a lot of bad candy and he'll probably eat them all and yeah. <laughs> and that will give us more reasons why Retro doesn't brush his teeth. Like... He needs to seriously do that. He needs goddamn help with this shit. Otherwise, who the fuck is this guy anyway? Is he just a fatty weirdo or something? He's a monster, that's for sure. I mean, he does kind of look like it to me. Much more likely looks like a, you know, like a grizzly bear. <laughs> Raging and shit.
You know what the people in Racho's neighbor should do? I'm just saying, okay? They should actually, you know, they should actually give him pizzas whenever Retro goes trick or treating. Yeah, when when Retro knocks the door, uh, the people are gonna give him like pizzas instead of candy. Would that be funny? <laughs> Why that's new? He's sending pizzas while trick or treating. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of awkward, but okay. <laughs> I actually think it might be entertaining if that were to be the real case. Oh shit, you're almost dead. <laughs> Retro will be locking the door, he'll be like, and people will be like, Oh, here's your pizzas, Retro, and Retro will be like, Why are you giving me pizzas? You're supposed to give me candy right now. And then people are like, Nah, Retro, you should eat them pizzas, man. It's pretty delicious. And we're just going to be like, I don't want these pizzas! And then later he'll get more and more pizzas every single time he keeps knocking the door, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. And he's gonna end up saying this Stop giving my pizzas in my goddamn house! And yeah, that is the tragic story right there of Retro. You know, going trick or treating with pizzas in his house. These flying enemies don't even know when to give up, like. Oh, come on, man! There's no way. Why are they always given more of these same ass enemies over and over again? This is a complete fucking joke. Like you have to be that strong in order to do so or have a bunch of shit ton of stamina in order to do so. You have to like take both of them or something shit. Fuck this. Fuck this. I wonder what the DLC stage will be like whenever I do this type of shit. Would it be even worse or would it be just, you know, something like the same? I've not really seen what it does or how it executes, so I wouldn't really know much about it. Not the biggest pro expert, so uh, I wouldn't. We don't really know why I can really tell you from the answer. So no. Man, these enemies are freaking sensitive. Like, these sensitive ass behavior look, you know, they have satanic looking se sensitive behavior looking enemies like they're. Look at this shit. They need to freaking repent. Hurry up, yeah, go straight to hell and hurry up and hurry up and repent. That counts you, and that counts this enemy right here. He needs to repent. Let me, yeah, let me go ahead and do some quick time events. How about that? I need to get more. I need to get more points. Why are these enemies not giving up? They're so stuck in the darn past. There we go. Let me take you down. It's gonna take more. I don't even like. If I look at the least Wii PS2, remember when we actually had to slap 100 retros in a DMC style in the Eggman Land one? That one had like a hundred. <laughs> You look at this game, at least they don't do a hundred, you know, enemy royale or something like that. The Wii version it had, and the way how they did it, it was fucking intense. But luckily enough, they give you rings for the sake of it, so at least they actually have something positive for the whole thing. I could give them that, let's be real, I mean, they do. Oh yeah, the 100 retro thing. 100 retros? What? Are you fucking serious, bro? 100 retros? What? Are you fucking serious, bro? <laughs> yep, <laughs> that one. I'm sure Retro's watched it right now. Yeah, probably watching it in his PC laughing right now like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what he would do every time. He would always laugh at these videos 24-7. Yeah, because we've seen this shit many, 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 many times. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking sad. Don't you believe it? Sad as fuck. Alright. Okay, it looks like you got every enemy done. Alright, finally. Yo, after this, let's head to Shamar Knight. That should be our next location to do. Eh, sure. 
you know, if I feel like it. We might do that one in this episode, so yeah. Damn, eh? Okay then. Yeah, might do this one one day. That's for sure. Yeah, you want to upgrade more combat? I forgot how many levels they have in this one. Yeah. It's been way a while, but... Yeah. Other than that, it's a really long-ass combat system. But Sonic Frontiers, on the other hand, yeah, you stare at that game, that has, that takes way too long for the combat system from the looks of it. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's fucking insane. Sorry about that. Um, we have to recheck what we have to do. So, yeah. <laughs> that is what it is. Whee! Nope. <laughs> Sayonara, werehog. Eh, just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head to Shamar Night. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do next. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that can wrap it off for that part. And now we'll head to that part very soon. Okay, can we do this mission? I'm sh let, let's see. No, you can't. There's no. Okay. All right, Shamar it is. Looking at the metal so far, we're like 80% done. That is pretty cool, impressively. Oh yeah, does any does any anim emulator just crashed? So yeah, it crashes way too hard in this area in the hub world. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and collect all the metals right here. Uh, I do know where they are, so uh, there's that. So yeah, this is the second one. Um, third one. Uh, let me see. I think the third one is right around here. In this area, and then the last one, I think it's on like a, a, a an area with a pot or something. I think that's what it is. Holy balls! I'm fucking tired. <laughs> God damn. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can do uh, one of the missions here for a bit. If I can, then... Y yeah, you know what? We'll do those missions, and then maybe we'll head to Shamar. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, okay. It wants me to get the first T, so... Alright, that should be easy to get. Oh boy, this will be a bit boring, but alright. But after that, uh, yeah. I think we'll just head on... After that, we'll just head on to that stage. Alrighty then, if you say so. Okay, for you, yeah, you get to do these next two. Yeah, I accidentally just did one of them. Do two missions for this T shit, and then, yeah, and then I'll be back to my turn. Okay.
Okay, sorry about that. The game just crashed. Oh, I got so bored. We got so bored. We didn't even know what to commentate during this part. Okay, well, I guess there's one thing I can update. I was trying to... F my parents were trying to find the cartridges that I just, like, literally just gave them to them. But they don't even know where they are. As well as the seat, the game cases as well. And... I don't even know why they don't have that shit, and it's really just really weird. And yeah, otherwise, like if I can't really find them, I may have to like, you know, rebuy them, like repurchase the games again, or maybe like put them on the CAA again and like replay the entire game from that from that set thing, and then boom, there we go. Except Smash Bros, but since I have that anyway. Uh, I should have just kept them in, but I'm just an idiot. Uh, I don't know. I just got too bored with everything else with this whole filler of a year. It's been filler for a year for a whopping six years, and it was just really boring. I guess you can do this mission, I guess. Despite, uh, we haven't got to anything to access. So, yeah. Oh, and there's that guy where you do the ghost mission or something. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Eh, we might get to that mission later. And we get to the chance, or the point. It, it should be in this area. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Yep. That's cool. Now we can get back to where we were. <laughs> that easily. Oh, <laughs> 
Well then, I got entirely bored, and look what we have here, we finally, you know, got that out of the way. Yep, we're, we're gonna do it, yep, it's Shamar time. And after that, um, yeah, I think that might kind of fill up the whole episode up. Yeah, we're just gonna, like, get to the point, <laughs> and then we'll just uh, sort of, like, end the video there, and then we'll come back later and continue off to the next part, of course, so yeah. Yay! Maybe I should do the Werehawk Scream again. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> That's only a one-time thing. Okay, yeah, this stage, yeah, if you play this on Xenia Emulator, yeah, this stage could fucking crash on the ass. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. This stage can crash you in the ass very hard. So I'm gonna try my best to get through this over with. If it crashes, then I'm just gonna, like, you know, head to the point. That's all I'll do. In the meantime, Look at these Retro Gaming Star guys. Hello everybody! It is I, Retro Gaming Hero, here today. And today, I'm gonna be doing trick-or-treating right now with my friends, everybody! <laughs> Yay! And as well, play as play Resident Evil 2. Uh, Revelations 2. On the... I forgot what game was for Resident Evil, fuck. I think it was from PS2? I, I forgot. He, he, he plays too much PS2 games. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, then. Here we go. There's, there's more. This is an area... That looks like a perfect area for Retro to trick or treat. Yeah. <laughs> Retro will just probably be running like this. Like the Werehog. How he runs. And then he'll just meet these people by knocking the door. He'll be like, Trick or treat! And then the people are gonna be like, giving pizzas to him instead of candy. <laughs> He'll just give you a pizza slice and put it in his pocket, and then boom. And then he'll end up getting like 500 of them <laughs> in a row. Instead of 500 candy bars or something like that. <laughs> Poor fatty. Fatty gonna have to eat up 500 of those pizza slices. How much is that in the whole pizza size? Uh, I think it's like over... I think it's like 60... Uh, 62? Yeah, I think it's like 62 slices. Yeah, that's gonna be very hard, hard for him to eat through all of that shit, let alone. 62? Yeah, he, he's pretty much dead. <laughs> oh dear, there goes Retro. Wah! Hmm, he, he, well, I wonder what Retro likes the most. Does Retro like chocolate? <laughs> That's my guess. I think Retro does like chocolate, if you if I say so to myself. Yeah, I think he probably does. I think he does. <laughs> it's prob it's just my bet. Uh, okay, there's nothing else there, so we're gonna go ahead and keep going. And yeah, we throw in our water barrel to Retro. Because <laughs> Retro doesn't even shower, he smells like shit. He needs, he needs to take a shower one day. I mean, he needs to do it for real. Otherwise, what's he doing right now? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, G, man. G. Retro needs Jesus. He needs Jesus. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Oh, I think there's another costume Retro should prob will probably wear. He will probably wear the, the costume from My Dress Up Darling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Retro might wear my, the My Dress Up Marin from My Dress Up Darling. <laughs> What'd you think of that? <laughs> Wait, My Dress Up Darling? What? The waifu anime? Exactly. 
the waifu anime. Yeah, Retro will probably, if you were gonna cosplay, oh shit, I don't know if you will ever cosplay Mary. <laughs> if he ever does that shit in real life, I'm gonna fucking laugh my ass off. <laughs> everybody's gonna be like, everybody's gonna be like sipping to him and not be low-key gay. Retro is straight up male, he's not homosexual. Come on, boy. You need to get girls. I don't even know if he even ch chats a lot with his girlfriend. I don't even know if he does that shit. I mean, besides, he's been doing drama, so of course he wouldn't really talk to his girlfriend that much. So yeah, with that said, yeah, Retro is just faking this shit out, having a girlfriend. No, he doesn't have one. Okay, there's another mount right there. I think I can just, I think I can just reach it. Yeah. I think you need like a you need this to do this, but we just already did it, so we're gonna carry this so we can get the other one. Retro gonna be messing up with them panties right here, yeah. Retro messing with them panties for what exactly? <laughs> that that is really strange for an anime like that. It may be even weirder than rent a girlfriend. Who knows? I could do a drinking game of my dress up, darling, <laughs> and see how many shots would I have to take. A, you know, I'd like, you know, take a shot on a cringy moment <laughs> and see how that goes. And then I look at the manga, and then they do like some censor shit. Holy balls! <laughs> no matter what, whenever it comes to these an kind of animes, yeah, they they'll probably flop no matter what. As for the slicey lices, I see the Kaguya-sama won't end anyway. That anime is too generic. I bet Retro probably jerks off to that anime. That's my guess. And they're having a movie of it in December. Eh. I couldn't care less because this anime has been way too generic for a whopping three seasons. I'm not kidding. It actually was way. It's just no nothing but the same thing. It has so much. It has like 1% of development. 1%. I said it. It's so small. I don't even know what I'm even saying. This is complete mid, but if it gets way too mid for a whole whopping like four seasons, or it, let's say the entirety, then that's even way more. That 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 then that would be like, where would I put it? I will like put this like below meh. I mean below mid. I will probably say it's meh, sort of like that. Probably put it on D tier with like no quality effort. Yeah, only like a bit of standards, and that's it. Yeah, I'm, I knew, I know I do made an anime tier list, but I feel like, you know, redoing that again, but this time doing this the way proper way, you know, doing like every single way in retrospective, like, we look at each point to point, point A to point B, so we're like that, and then yeah, and then rank them all for all, for all other stuff. Now, I probably need to do that shit one day, oh shit, the lag, I probably need to do that shit one day. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know how I don't know how this game runs. Does this run on 60 frames or 30 frames? I, I I do know that it runs in 30 frames, but I don't know if he's if the Zenny is going on 60 or something. I don't know. Maybe it is going on 60. I honestly don't even know when it comes to the Zenny. Uh, I don't know the PS3 more because of how gay the lag is. This one you can't even tell. But I'm assuming it's sorta like that. Yep. You know who would also go to Halloween? Lolly Cocktober. Because his name is set October. So with that said, Lolly Cocktober would probably go in Halloween and jerk off to waifu shit, yeah. I think Lolly Cocktober might wear Oh yeah, since Lolly Cocktober jerks off the Dragon Maid, which I've probably seen some clips of it. Oh I mean only pictures of it. I think people say it's a Lolly anime. I don't know. I need to look at more info on that. But from the looks of it, it looks like it looks like it's Lolly. Maybe I think. But you know, with that, or Lever might possibly wear the Astolfo cosplay in Halloween because he think he already realized that he's a that Astolfo is a you know a male, female male, fanboy I think yeah. And he might probably jerk off to that shit. If he ever does, then yeah, you know that Lever October is copying Kimi Morris style. Low key gay, in my opinion. Not to me. Oh yeah, I do remember one thing. Um, he did comment on my Super Boyo video. Yeah, I do remember. That. I do remember that down below. Oh fuck, I'm almost dead. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, yeah, there you go. Take that. Okay. 
Um, let me go ahead and... Ro yeah, let me just... Yeah, barrel your ass up. Yeah, get your ass banned, Retro. Or leave Rock October, whatever. I need to get more rings. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he, he probably would... I, I forgot what I'm supposed to say. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, Libra just jerks off to the the fanboy stuff. And... Oh yeah. I oh yeah, I know what I'm saying. The, the Super Boyo one, yeah. Uh, he did comment on this one, and then... And then, uh, yeah, and that was it, yeah. I guess he probably agreed with me, saying that Kimimura is a lolly con, basically, and this Super Boyo dude is a lolly con supporter. I heard. So, that said, um... I think Libra is just pretending... I, I think Libra probably, you know, defends Kimimura. I think he probably does that shit, which is low-key gay. Because Kimimura likes to jerk off the skull phone. I, I mean, I mean, hell, Rinto Saka is way better than so than Astolfo. I'm not gonna lie, she's a way better character than her. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> Lolly October, he might probably wear that as a cosplay. Oh yeah, I do remember last year, uh, he did try to you do that low pitched video. Yeah, I do remember that. He did like a low pitched voice of the, the of something like a demonic kind of thing. Oh shit, this is the area I got a game over at. Let me finish my, my thing. Yeah, he did that, but he didn't, you know, it didn't really got finished up editing, apparently, from the looks of his program software. So he ended up finishing the whole video with his normal voice. That's fucking sad. I don't know why, I don't know why, but, I mean, he could have just finished it very quickly or something. Or he could have just used, like, a low pitch voice thing. Uh, it's something you can get on, like, Filmora. Which I use that shit to edit videos. Yeah. Of course. And yeah, weird enough. Okay, this area I'll get like this is the part I have a hard time. This part is like yet another area I freaking died at, like when I first tried it. It like I like died it several times in this area to the point where I just gave up and ignored the section. And all the section has is like a CD you need to get. Like, that's pretty much it. And I'd say the best to do it is to use the warehawk you know, the I'd say the best to do it is to use uh, the Unleashed, which is probably the only- Oh, there goes that. I hate it when they just disappear. Yeah. It looks like I'm playing like a freaking video game I would probably know, like Mario or something. Yeah, I, I, I kind of hate it whenever it does that, so, yeah. Okay, well, I have a full Unleashed gauge, and I have full HP, so I don't have much of a problem. Unless, if I ever do, then yeah. Yeah, that's what Lolly Cocktober would do. He would suck off to them JRPGs because he's a JRPG fanboy. Just like uh, Kimor's Trap Bell. And as well as Silver Cyber, of course. Though he's more of a furry faggy. So, yeah, there, there's him as well. And yeah, and also, let's not forget the fact that, that Libra actually sorta associated with Asian Hylian, I think. I think he sorta of did that, and then, yeah, I forgot, but I think he sorta of did. Who well, did it? I don't even know about that, but I don't know. Come on, Lollicocktober. KO! There we go. That, that's me beating a Lollicocktober. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Another YouTuber you won't be able to see again. So, yeah. Oh, well. He just couldn't bring up the past up. I mean, he already said that he he lifted on from him being a retro 2.0 by John Kill 3D. But then the next day, he brings up the past and talks shit about it. And then John 3D easily just debunked the video, like hands down, no no skills required. Libra is actually hypocritical. Yeah, not to think of it. Like who? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to relook at the medals and see what I got. Um, sorry about that. Uh, let me relook. Yeah, we only got like five and then three. Okay. Anyway, back to where I'm going to be talking. Um, I wonder who is the worst. Because when it comes to actions, uh, we ever we never really seen what you know what the others have actually done or oh I I think we know Libra is what he's committed. 
but we haven't seen them like commit any crime kind of things. And the same goes with Silver Cyber and Asian Hylian. Though they have done some really messed up things, like one of them being a, I mean, two of them being pedophiles, and the one and the other ones being a lollicon. And he, and Libra is possibly a pedophile. Who knows? He probably does that, jerks off to that shit. My guess. And let's see, what's another one? Um, fuck, I forgot. There's also Kevin Bryan's. But I'd say Kevin's like the second worst, <laughs> second worst to Kimura because he's of the pedal shit. Asian Hylian is like third place because he's a more of a comedian loser, but he still does this random pedal shit. Or maybe you know what? Maybe Asian Hylian is on second place maybe because he's done actions directly and they're terrible. Uh, and then as for Kevin, he can go third. And as for Silver Cyber, he can go fourth, and Leave Arcover can go fifth. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, not to look at the my sinister six uh, deadly six meme <laughs> where I have all the losers in. Um, I guess this is what I think the new order will be: um, Asian Hylian, Libra October, Silver Cyber, Kevin Bryan's, Kimi Mora, obviously. Retro can be Eggman. Retro can be Eggman. And uh, I guess Judas Montes. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but you have to be on the darn list. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for the things I did. <laughs> anyway, that was on the block. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> the sinister stupidity. I could add Super Boyo in, but eh, I think he won't. I think he's repenting or something. <laughs> but Jesus, but but man, these guys need help. They need to go see Doctor Phil for once. Or you know what? Fuck it. They should make a video of them going to the doctor directly. They should just do it. That's just my opinion. They should just do that. So that way, we, it, it can be proven. Yeah. Because we, I mean, we've seen people tell people to go see Doctor Phil and all that, but the set person doesn't do that shit. And it will be better if they actually proven it in real life. Like you know actually go to the doctor for real on camera and post it in the public yeah that's what they probably should do yeah that's my that's my take all right this one is pretty annoying if I do miss this don't worry I'll get this in the next part so yeah not a huge deal okay that's one down oh uh, boy how do you got this one Like this? Ah, oh, come on! I missed it up. I can't even go back. <laughs> this is the hardest one to get, and it's freaking Werehog. Ah! And don't get me started when we get to Eggman Land. Oh my god! I don't even think you. Yeah, I don't think the barrels could even like help you get up there. That's just sad. Okay, well, uh, I guess uh, that's it, I guess. Oh, well. And we'll get that in the next part. Next part, I assume we're going to be doing the boss and then Empire City. Yeah, that's what I'll assume. Because mostly this part, we need to clear up all these other stuff, so that way we can access through the other missions and all that from Empire City and Shamar Knight. Shamar Knight might have some, and Empire City, I, it, has a, it has a shit ton. For both areas, and we're gonna do both of them for day and night, so yeah, it'll be a complete shit show. Luckily, Adabat doesn't have any missions, so that's a pass, so yeah. So we might end up seeing another filler episode. Just because of the darn missions. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, fucking hell indeed. It's fucking hell indeed. Oh no! It's Asian Hylian. Lollicoptober, uh, let's see, uh, what's that, what are the Archie? Silver Cyber, and who's that Archie? Kevin Bryan, yeah. These lolly ass niggers who need to go seek Dr. Phil right away. And boom, there goes, uh, there goes the king, that's, I think that's Lollicoptober, and then now we got these other three, Asian Hylian, who's that guy? Uh, Silver Cyber and Kevin Bryant. 
Okay, yeah, good good thing you got that. Beat them all off. Oh, hey, look, it's the door that we have to do for the beta run. Yeah, I do remember that. Might be sort of interesting to try those. Oh, wait, there's another dude? That must be Kimimura. Get your ass out of the way, Kimimura, you stupid-ass faggot. You have terrible taste. And stop buying them JRPGs, it's low-key gay. Okay, there goes Silver Cyber. Yeah, I think I beat up Kevin Bryant. <laughs> oh dear. Oh shit, there's another one. And that's Judas Montes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's still. Yeah, Judas Montes is still. Yeah, whenever it comes to. Yeah, he knows that we're obsessed with his birthday date. Yeah, I heard about that shit. Lol, lol, lol. Lol, 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 lol. Okay, let me go ahead. Here, let me go over here. Is there another one? I missed two? Or I missed three? Oh, okay. I might have to get those off screen. That that's for sure. So after that I'll go ahead and off screen uh, those. I mean in screen those in the next part. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to repent for this shit. Uh for this gameplay. Okay, well there goes Judas Montes. Yay! I could have Mystic Judas, but eh, there's too many idiots right here. Oh, I might have to look at how many lists of idiots we got on the darn list. That's for sure. Might have to put like a list. I might have to see how it is. Okay, well, level's over. Alright, we're just gonna go off. Yay! Alright, there we go. That should be an S rank. The first time I played it, I almost died and I ended up, you know, finishing the level early. But I still got S. Alright. That's fine. We'll get a lot of points right here, no matter what, when we replay this. So that's for sure. You play it level four times, you get a hell ton of stuff. Four times of doing it? That means you have to. That means playing the game for an hour, getting like 99 XP. Yep. That would be like a pain in the ass, but it will be something if you want to level up entirely. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna end the part here, and the next part will continue off to this game, man. Yeah. Okay, let me go pause the game. You know what the people in Racho's neighbor should do? I'm just saying, okay? They should actually, you know, they should actually give him pizzas whenever Retro goes trick-or-treating. Yeah, when, when Retro knocks the door, uh, the people are gonna give him, like, pizzas instead of candy. Would that be funny? <laughs> Why, that's new. He's sending pizzas while trick-or-treating. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of awkward, but okay. <laughs> I actually think it might be entertaining if that were to be the real case. Oh shit, you're almost dead. <laughs> Retro will be knocking the door, he'll be like, and the people will be like, Oh, here's your pizzas, Retro, and Retro will be like, Why are you giving me pizzas? You're supposed to give me candy right now. And the people are like, Nah, Retro, you should eat them pizzas, man. It's pretty delicious. And we're just going to be like, I don't want these pizzas! And then later he'll get more and more pizzas every single time he keeps knocking the door, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. And he's gonna end up saying this Stop giving my pizzas in my goddamn house! And yeah, <laughs> that is the tragic story right there of Retro. You know, going trick or treating with pizzas in his house. <laughs>